everyone, I'm Amanda Mason and welcome back to my Broadway backyard. I'm so excited to be sharing with you my favorite healthy shishito pepper salad. Now I'm actually right here in my own kitchen and I'm going to show you how to whip it up. It's super quick, it's fast. Um, and being a, a model and a dancer and a performer in the city, you have to make sure that you stay healthy, but healthy doesn't mean sacrificing taste. So this has a little bit of a kick to it, so I'm excited to show it to you, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so this salad really doesn't require a lot of ingredients. You've got shishito peppers, um, just chicken, all white meat, feta crumbled cheese, arugula salad, also known as rocket, which I actually didn't know. Um, and a lime, some Himalayan pink salt crystals, avocado oil or olive oil, depending on what you're looking for. So there's not a lot of ingredients, but they're all healthy, and I actually got them all from Trader Joe's. So um, we'll do a simple, quick prep. So what you do is these are already washed. I'm gonna take a nice handful of shishito peppers. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and cut them up. So we're gonna put them on the stove, but I like to take um, these little things off. They're, they're just not really necessary. Oops. Okay. So I'm cutting. You can see that the seeds are popping out. Yummy. For those of you who like spicy things, it's gonna be delicious. So once you cut all these together, we're gonna go ahead and just keep them on the side because we're gonna prepare the arugula first. So here are what you can see. Um, the shishito peppers cut up. Now we move on to, it's like a cup of shishito peppers. Now we're gonna put in a cup of just chicken white meat. Now it's important on this that you um, that you actually shred them a little bit because it's easier for you to eat them. So you have to make sure, as you can see, they, they come in this package right here. It's all white meat, which is great, and all you have to do is heat it up. So I'm gonna take this and start shredding a little bit in here. So now we have our cup of chicken, it's ready to go. Um, we also have our shishito peppers. Those we're gonna put to the side. Now, we're gonna make the salad. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put the lettuce on top of your plate. Now you can use as much lettuce as you want. It really depends on what you're looking for. So I like a lot of lettuce. Now I also like to crunch it up a bit so it's easier when you get your fork in there. Um, so while I'm doing this, I'm also gonna choose extra virgin olive oil. Um, it's my favorite on salads for dressing and I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit on there. And I'm gonna get my hands dirty, which is okay, and we're gonna mix it up a bit so that every single bite you get, you get some olive oil. Now, I made it a little too runny, so we're gonna add some more arugula to it, just to kind of even it out. Okay, so we're saving the lime, the feta cheese, and the Himalayan crystal salts for last. So let's go ahead and take these over to the stove. Okay, so now we're over here near the stove and they see that avocado oil is actually better to cook things in. So I'm just going to drizzle, oops, if I can get the top off, a little bit around. I'm going to turn on the stove. Aha! My trusty stove works. And once we just let this heat up a little bit, we're going to go ahead and put our shishito peppers in. Um, now, something to remind you, if you want them spicier, leave them in uh, for less time on the stove. Sometimes I've had them in here for three minutes, um, sometimes less, depending on what you put this, the, the temperature to. So right now it's on medium high, and we're gonna go ahead and dump these in there. And you can see the seeds, those are the spicy part. So we're gonna let those sit for a while. Um, 
and, and hang out and watch them. Okay, so these have been cooking for about a minute. Now it's important to not just leave them there, that you've gotta mix them around a bit or else they'll burn. Um, so you don't want them to burn, but here's kind of an example of what you can sort of look for. Um, zooming in, focusing, focusing. So this is, you can kind of see the bottom here. Um, it's it's being cooked, but it's not burnt. That's kind of what we're looking for. Now, again, if you want them really hot and spicy, go ahead and only leave them on there for a minute and a half. But right now, I wanna to try to keep them on here for, you know, two minutes. As you can see now, can you hear it? Oh. Okay, so these are actually looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna move these onto my lettuce. And now we're gonna put a little tiny, tiny bit more avocado oil on here. So we're gonna put a little more here. Mix it around a bit. And now we're gonna put our chicken, because I like to use uh, the stove better than the microwave. So let's go ahead and just heat some of these up. Now, the white meat is actually already cooked, which is great. So this really limits your prep time and also your cooking time. Um, so ultimately, this salad could take, you know, eight minutes. Uh, if, if you take your time now, if you're in a hurry, you could probably do it faster. So all I'm doing, though, is just heating up my chicken. now that it's a medium high um, they'll start to you know burn they won't be as chewy so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and we're gonna go ahead and put these on um, so these are all off so so far this is what the salad looks like and now we're going to focus on the dressing great so now we have everything on it we have the olive oil on the arugula and then we have the chicken that's been warmed um, and cook just a little extra and also the shishito peppers. Now, um, lime is actually a huge part of the dressing and I love limes. Gives it a little extra kick um, more than a lemon would for this salad. We're gonna go to the feta cheese. Yummy. Now this is actually um, feta cheese with Mediterranean herbs. I got this at Trader Joe's as well. It's super delicious. And my last and final touch, which is actually healthy. Uh, my personal trainer did approve pink Himalayan salt crystals, but um, not a whole, whole lot. So I love that this Trader Joe's thing here has its own grinder. Makes me feel like I'm at a restaurant. Shishito pepper salad. Uh, so let's let's take a bite into this and see how good it is. Okay, so here we have it, the shishito pepper salad. It's super simple, it's very quick. Let's take a bite of it. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Just enough of a little bit of texture and lots of taste, lots of flavor, and a little bit of kick in there depending on how long you leave your shishito peppers in. So I hope that you try out my shishito pepper salad. I think you'll really like it. And also, um, I'll put the ingredients down below so that if you just need to recap. And I hope that you've enjoyed this being in my kitchen. Please subscribe to my Broadway Backyard channel for more cooking tips and exploring the city and looking at uh, New York City through the eyes of a performer. So thank you so much for checking it out. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you, or if you have any recipes that you're unsure of or want to try out, um, I'm happy to try out new recipes on the show. So thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye.